Hello, gorgeous, and welcome back. Yay! It is Shell, and I am here without our favorite pest today. He is sound asleep, so yet again, let's see how far we make it before he wakes up and decides that he needs to be the star of the show. Um, today, I've got something that I have been waiting for for a while. I have been wanting to try stuff from, do we have a name on the outside? No, from ColourPop. So, um, as you may know, ColourPop, they launch palette after palette and colors after colors after colors constantly. So I'm just pulling everything out of its little box and out of its little bubble wrap. So I'm going to play with bubble wrap later. Yay! <laughs> so this one is, this one spoke to me. I wanted several of the others, like the watermelon palette. And I try to look based on the lemon one that I, I didn't get. Um, lemon or sunflower or something. It was the yellow one. Um, but this... It spoke to my little gothic heart. It's Smoke Show. And it is all black and silver. I mean, when you saw the ads for these, it looked like the ad was in black and white. And we were waiting for them to reveal, you know, color by color, but no. It is all black and white and silver. It's got a little mirror in it, and it even has a protective thing on the mirror. So let's see if I can get that off, maybe. Jeez, oh, Pete, it is on there. Resort to a tool. Yeah. Wow. That's very sticky film, y'all. All right, so it's a decent sized mirror and it goes completely edge to edge, so that that's nice. Um and then along with it, I also got the Starry Eyed Liner Set. And it comes with three liners. And this one is a white gel liner. A black felt tip liner. Need more of those, like I need a hole in my head. And then a silver gel liner. All right. So let's see here. Yep, that is that is Tin Man Silver right there. Well, that was awesome. Tip broke off on the white. There we go. And then Yep, it is a black liner. It looks pretty good though. It doesn't bleed. Get a nice sharp tip to it, so we'll give that a shot. And then I want to do some swatches of the shadows. And the first one, the bright white, is called Young Love. Yep. 
Okay. The next one over is called Smokin, and it is a kind of a reflective gray. Oh, that's pretty. And then Stone Face is a solid matte gray, light gray. Next row down is slated and it's a darker matte gray. Move you back, make sure you can see all this. Okay, and then we have Starstruck, which is a silver. Oh, oh, yes, please. All right, and then Ignite which is a lighter gray. And then we have Let's Do It, which is just a matte black. Mm-hmm. We have Full Metal. Ooh, this one's really creamy, which is like, I mean, it's a gunmetal gray. That is gorgeous. And then we have Night Dream, which is the last, and it is a reflective black. So it's just got a little shimmer to it. So those, those are pretty. So I'm going to have fun. With that, let's get this stuff off my fingers. Because as we saw in the last one, I'm going to touch my face. I'm going to end up with black on it. So let me clean up here a little bit and I will be right back. Okay, perfect. So I'm back. Swatches off the paws and off the fingers. I'm going to leave those there just for dramatic effect. So... Since I did such a dark look last week, I think we're gonna focus on the lighter ones, the top three, and we'll save the bottom three for next time. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Young Love. That's the white one here that kind of barely shows up. Make sure I've got a clean brush here. And the Young Love, I'm just going to put right on the arch. And into the crease. Just using a great big old flat brush. Or a great big old fluffy brush. And it's kind of flat. we go. So in these, they do look like they are pretty buildable. Especially with the black ones, you are going to want those, the less is more kind of hand going in, I mean, especially with that one, that is so dark. So less is more, so you'll wanna build it up because it is easy to build it up than it is to take it down. So easier. Now I wanna go in with Stone Face, which is that really light gray right here. And I'm going in with kind of an angled little domey brush. Now I'm going to start putting in the crease a bit. Oh. 
And again, for those of you who do not have the crepey kind of hooded vintage eyes like I do, this is where a windshield wiper motion would come very, very much in handy. But since I do, and if I go in with a windshield wiper motion, even if it's really light, I'm more dragging the skin around than I am the product. So I go in with more of a padding and then light pull. all the way to the inner corner. All right, then I'm gonna go in with slated, and that is the darkest gray. The Ignite almost has a little, a purpley hue to it. So I'm gonna stick with slated. And I'm going to put slated here. So, and that little V we like so much. And pull it in and through. There we go. And then I'm going to take my same brush that I did the stone face with. Start stippling and patting it in, giving it a little pull. And start blending it in to the stone face. This does have a little bit of fallout to it, but now if I ran into a shadow that had absolutely zero fallout ever, I would be completely astonished. I mean, completely. These are requiring a lot of blending to get that slated into the stone face. Not it looking choppy or bumpy. But overall, still very happy with it. All right. And these little palettes, they're 12 bucks. I mean, what can, what can you say about $12 for a freaking palette? I'm blown away. Let's see. Let's... Okay, let's take the smoke in, as it is a darker one, and let's put it just in here. I'm going to do that 
with a finger. There we go. Okay, yes, that is so, so pretty. And then I am hoping, color pop completely aside, um, <coughs> of which this is not sponsored, by the way. I, I really wish that I could have ordered the new Toddy Westbrook palette when it dropped yesterday, Friday, today is Sunday. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't in the financial cards and not not on her PR list and didn't win the little subscriber giveaways that she was doing so I will have to save that and then of course this upcoming weekend on November 1st I guess it's going to be Friday Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star are dropping their palettes so mm. if I needed a makeup sugar daddy that time is now so if anybody wants to fill out that application let me know and I'm taking the starstruck and I'm just tapping it in here and wow so these shimmers go on with a finger or with a brush beautifully And then I'm just patting it on. My goodness, this is gorgeous. I mean, wow. Mm. Okay. Do, 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 do. And I think I want to pull that slated just a little higher up. So I'm going to go in and just tap lightly with a domed fluffy brush. There we go. Just bring her up a bit. And I mean, I am talking, I just touched the pan. Yeah, bring it up just a little higher. Looks good. Because I will say it louder for those in the back. It is either easier, uh, it is easier to add than subtract. My goodness, this, this is really pretty. This one is going to get reached for an awful lot when I want blacks or silvers. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I'm going to take the stone face, a little pencil brush, I'll sweep off the product I do have on there, and just go underneath. See how I like that. If 
I do. That's almost imperceptible. Let's. Oh, I really kind of want to go in with Night Dream, the reflective black, but that's going to be too dark. All right, we'll go back into smoking, which is the iridescent or the shimmer on the top row. I'll just pull that across a little bit. Okay. So that is that. I am super happy with this. All right. Then I think I want to do the silver in the waterline. Oh, that is fun. Okay, but that is, that is super nice. I like that silver. And then, should we do a black and white line? Gonna judge the fallout here a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that goes on really pretty well. <laughs> I'm doing the let's get my wings even. wider than I was hoping for, but you know what? Wings are wings. They happen. All right. Let's take the white and see if we like it.
There you go. I'm going to say I think I'm going to keep the white for in the waterline. It is, again, just not a second wing look. Let's maybe pull it under here some. Oh, that's fun. I like that. I like that. So, down, down, put it back in. All right. So those are all winners. Now, before I do lashes, I will show off another couple of singles that I got because I have been dying for a good tealy, turquoisey, seafoam green forever. And most palettes just don't have something like that. So I picked up one from the Zodiac, uh, Zodiac Collection, which is part of the Kathleen Lights collab. And this one is Pisces, and I'm a Pisces, so that works out well. And this one is a reflective. It's got a little mirror in it, which is just darn near pointless. But this, look at that. Oh, hello. Mm. <clears throat> and then this is one of their super shock shadows. And this one is Banana Daiquiri. Oh. And this is slightly less reflective. And it's just a little bit lighter. But those are going to be super fun to play with another day. And I'm going to pull you down so just so we can see all of those swatches. Because sadly, when this translates over to YouTube from my iPad. Sometimes you don't quite catch it, kind of cuts off some. So I want to make sure we got everything. Get a little bit of fallout in my cleavage. That's cute. So, all right, let me throw on lashes and I will be back. All right, so we are back. We put on lashes. And let me tell you, a good pair of lash can definitely overcome most wonky winged eyeliner looks. But I am I am super happy with that ColourPop smoke show. This is it's gorgeous. So now that I've I've tried a ColourPop shadow. I am, I'm definitely going to be getting more of those. So, and you know, good thing they, they drop new palettes so frequently. I mean, it's like one every couple of months. So they've, they've put out a ton of them this year. Um, I'm super happy. I'm going to be picking up a couple here and there. Um, but that is it. That is the look today. And I hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, am working on a little project for Halloween. I'm hoping it doesn't fall through, but it may. So we'll see. Um, we're thinking about maybe doing makeup in a haunted location. <laughs> so we will see. Um, but until then, you guys have a great rest of your day. Please remember 
subscribe, hit that little bell if you want to be no notified of my next videos. Sometimes YouTube notifies, sometimes they don't. I've got the little bell rung on, on several channels and it's hit and miss, but give it a shot. And as always, please comment down below. I love comments. I'd love to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, almost nothing is, is off the table. Just, you know, I can choose what I want to answer and what I don't. Um, but otherwise, loves, you guys have a great one. Okay, bye-bye now.